full carbon frame, DVO suspension, and Shimano SLX 12-speed drivetrain at just $34.99? Yes, please. Let's dig into the new Fazari Delano Peak. Fazari is a bike brand that has been selling bikes directly online for years, an early player in the game. Despite their history, they can get lost going up against the likes of YT, Canyon, or Comensal. That doesn't mean their bikes should be overlooked. A couple years ago, we found plenty of fun aboard their 150mm Travel 29er, the LaSalle Peak, and last fall, their $2,000 Abajo Peak was a standout performer in our budget bike comparison. The new Delano Peak is a trail-ready 29er with 135 mils of travel out back and 150 up front. In the low setting, the only setting we really care about, geometry is nice and modern with a 65 degree head angle, a reach of 480 millimeters on our size large test bike, and a 77.5 degree effective seat angle. Standover is low and the seat tube length is short, but seat post insertion is still over 300 millimeters on a size small frame. Medium through XL size frames can also run two water bottles. In addition to some other features like their clean catch rattle free cable guides, ISC G05 mounts, a SRAM universal derailleur hanger, and threaded bottom bracket, it's clear that Fazari did their homework with frame features, layout, and geometry that fits the bill of the modern rider. Fazari offers six different models and a frame set option on the Delano Peak. While those models have a great build and price point already, we went with the most affordable option of the Delano Peak Comp at just $3,499 because we're always intrigued with new affordable mountain bikes that look like they're ready to shred. The Shimano SLX 12-speed drivetrain is a solid, no-brainer spec. The cassette weight and the precision of the SLX group is a highlight at this price. And when it's paired with a DVO Diamond D1 fork and Topaz T3 rear shock, the Delano Peak is equipped with the right parts in the right places. A 2.5 Maxxis Minion DHF Aggressor Combo. Stan's Flow Wheels can be had for $300 more, or you can go NVAM30 for $1,200. More on the wheels later. There's an X-Fusion Manic Dropper Seat Post, and you long-legged types can upgrade to a 200mm PNW Bachelor Dropper with Loam Lever for an extra $120. Refined Fazari house brand parts handle cockpit duties out of the box. Fazari is a mail order bike brand, which means you order the bike online and it shows up at your door in a box. There is no bike shop involved in the process. Assembly is straightforward and should be within reach of any rider ready for a legit trail bike. Fazari offers a 30 day love it or return it guarantee, as well as a 23 point bike fit and setup guide while you buy the bike. The bike fit guide is detailed and refined, but Fazari is also ready to work with you. If you don't want a 50 mil stem, for instance, you can contact Fazari through live chat, phone, or email. And they'll work with you on your fit specifics. They have strong customer service to provide peace of mind since you won't be dealing with a local bike shop. All right, enough of the details. How does the Delano Peak ride? Vital tester Greg Montgomery put the bike through the paces at races, on home trails, and at bike parks throughout Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. His last three days on the bike, he clocked 51,000 vertical feet with shuttles and lifts. Let's see what he has to say. Prior to receiving the Delano Peak, I had to run through an extensive 23-point bike fit and setup procedure. The form was comprehensive and resulted in a bike that was very close to the ideal setup for my size and weight. The bike arrived nearly assembled and took only a few minutes to be fully operational. At first glance, the frame itself doesn't present a particularly distinctive silhouette. It may not look particularly unique, but the lines of the frame link up nicely in an orderly and aesthetically pleasing form. If I had chosen a word to describe the appearance, I would have used something along the lines of understated. The test period has proven that the understated nature of the bike shone through in more than just the appearance. There weren't any loose bolts, creaks, or defects to report. The build quality of the frame was excellent. The paint has been durable, the pivots are stout, and the cable routing is straightforward. The fit of the large for my 511 build was spot on, but I did choose to shorten my bars to 770 millimeters and shorten the stem to 40 millimeters from the 50 that came stock. 
After I made those changes, I felt like the bike was more confident on the descents without compromising the climbs. Pedaling the bike revealed how steep the C-tube actually is. The actual and effective C-tube angles are very similar, which makes for a much less misleading number on the geometry chart. In this case, the seat is positioned almost directly above the bottom bracket and any length of seat post is extended. Seated climbing is very comfortable and I felt like that I could have ridden all day. On that note, I also never had any particular urge to push a climb on the bike. It just didn't have a sense of urgency. Instead, I chose to sit and spin. Traction was exceptional and I never had the need to flip the climb switch. Overall, climbing was generally uneventful. The Delano Peak just got the job done. The lax demeanor on the climbs was completely offset by its eagerness to descend. The bike was incredibly composed. The long reach, reasonable chainstay length, and dialed suspension worked together to make for a capable bike. I never thought it was cumbersome or awkward. It's still astonishing to me that Fazari was able to spec suspension of this caliber. The Diamond has multiple adjustments from the typical low and high speed compression as well as rebound. DVO's OTT adjuster is a unique mechanism that aids in the top end of the stroke. The fork itself performed as well as I could have asked. Fazari nailed the setup from the get-go. At close to 20% sag in the front, I found more mellow trails to be smoothed particularly well. I did end up adding 10 PSI to get the front end closer to 15% sag for steeper tracks though. I also added a couple clicks of low speed compression and a slight turn of high speed. Interestingly, I found the detents on the high speed dial to be somewhat vague. Regardless, it was easy to make noticeable fine adjustments. The top end was incredibly supple without using excessive travel on bigger hits. By the end of the test, the fork needed service but still retained the buttery feel that I grew to love. The chassis was sufficiently stiff and failed to develop any creaks. Oh, last but not least, it also looks fantastic. The Topaz Shock was another standout performer. It has rebound adjustment as well as a climb switch, but lacks the other adjustment dials found on the Diamond. Like the Diamond, the Topaz had exceptional small bunt sensitivity and at no point did I find it wallowing in its travel. At 30% sag, I found the end of the stroke a few times, but it wasn't excessive, nor was it traumatic. For the most part, I just forgot about it. I simply jumped on the bike and hammered it as hard as I could. On that note, I don't suggest forgetting about it like I had. The bladder housing in the piggyback requires a top off every few weeks, according to DVO. Not a big deal, but retaining sufficient pressure is critical for the damper to function effectively. The suspension was exceptional through high frequency chatter, as well as offering sufficient progression to retain composure through hard compressions. Off camera section of this trail were another standout experience. I can't put a finger on exactly what took place, but the bladed rear stays may be offering additional compliance as the bike is leaned over. It's purely speculation at this point, but its ability to track through rough, flat turns was noticeable. The bike is fast. In fact, the bike was so capable that it outshone some of the components that the $3,500 build came specced with. I succeeded in breaking two rear wheels without damaging the same tire that came with the bike. The first was dented and failed at the seam, while the second was dented beyond repair at the bead. After the second WTB wheel, I switched to Stan's Flow Wheels, a $300 upgrade, and continued without any issues. The second component that left me scratching my head were the brakes. The four piston Shimano brakes were sufficient, but the 180 millimeter rotors front and rear were not. I found that the capability of the bike far outpaced the ability for the brakes to modulate speed. I would have highly suggested adding at least a 200 millimeter rotor to the front of this bike. Those two shortcomings were the only things that I would have addressed on this bike. Apart from the suspension, the other standout performers were the dropper seat posts and SLX drivetrain. The SLX drivetrain was a set and forget component. I purposely shifted like an idiot and never had any broken chains or traumatic skipping. Instead, it just casually did its job. Not only that, 
By the end of the test, the derailleur didn't have any noticeable scratches. I would chalk that up to how nicely it tucks up against the bike. Impressive. There is nothing better than a component that I don't have to fuss with. Like the drivetrain, the X-Fusion Matic was flawless. I just forgot it, used it, kind of neglected it, but it worked. It was great. Considering the $3,800 price for the upgrade of Flow wheels, I'm genuinely shocked. Anyone looking for a comfortable trail bike with excellent descending characteristics should seriously consider this bike. Salt Lake City brand has listened to tester and customer feedback over the years and has made a serious contender of a trail bike that will take on all major MTB players in the game. Fazari's direct consumer experience is easy, thorough, and hassle-free with a refined system and multiple company contact options. 30-day love it or return it guarantee makes the online buying experience that much more comfortable. The mountain biker willing to take on a small bit of assembly for a large heaping helping of shredding will love the Delano Peak. Hit up Fazari.com or VitalMTB.com for all the info.